The Department of Transportation on Saturday, January 16, 2021 announced that as of January 13, 2021 the construction of the entire Bicol International Airport project reached 72.2% completed, with Package 2A completing at 88.2%. This covers the landside facilities and other buildings. While the Package 2B completed at 49.5%, that covers the airport's passenger terminal building, the extension of runway, the construction of the taxiway, drainage, and other site development works. The Bicol International Airport is currently part of the Build 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 project of the Duterte administration, that envisioned to be the gateway of the country in the Bicol region, that may help decongest the currently biggest international airport located in the metropolitan Manila. The project might give the Bicolanos more jobs and boost its tourism economy in the future. The project has been in the pipeline since 1996, but it was studied more in the mid-2000s, under then-President Gloria Macapag Alaroyo, with the initial approved budget worth 1.2 billion Philippine peso. Now, media reports said that the total cost of the project reached 4 billion 978 million Philippine peso. The Bicol International Airport faces many delays, mostly about budget issues and terrorist attacks allegedly from the New People's Army in September of 2017. The newly constructed Bicol International Airport will increase the passenger capacity from 569,535 to more than 2 million passengers annually and may reach 4.4 million passengers after the project is completed. The airport is located 15 kilometers from Mayan Volcano, with an area of 200 hectares. But tourists can still immediately see the majestic view of the Mayan Volcano, a perfectly cone-shaped volcano. End.